The pandemic impacted state and local health departments in several different ways. COVID largely shed a light on what immunizations are, how they're captured, and how that data is utilized. The reason that every state in the country has an immunization information system is that healthcare and protecting uh, the health of individuals, as well as the privacy of individuals, is a state mission. And when you go and get your shot, whether it's at the hospital or the clinic or the pharmacy, that information gets transmitted to the state where that shot took place and it goes into that registry so that there's always a source of truth for what happened. What COVID has taught us is that you really need to have that capacity at a different scale. Microsoft has a long and very successful history working with state and local governments, both in the United States as well as internationally, on their cloud for healthcare implementations. In Washington state, what the smart health card is, is all the things that make up the vaccine record that are listed on your CDC white card, encodes it in a QR code, whether they print it off on a piece of paper or screenshot it on their smart device so that they always have it with them. In the state of Louisiana, the smart health card format allows us to provide an equitable and accessible solution will send your first name, last name, date of birth, and zip code to the state's immunization information system. It's gonna look up your record, and if it finds it, it will tell you, would you like to display your health card? If you choose yes, we will build an encrypted, verifiable smart health card credential and securely bring that to your device. Supporting an entire state with millions of users, we had to rely on something else, and that was Azure. It detects the traffic that we need. It automatically scales to accommodate all of that, where most normal state systems or even on-prem systems would completely crash. In Washington state, we had actually a funded two-year project to migrate pieces of our on-prem infrastructure to the Azure cloud. The amazing thing about pandemic speed is that we took that two-year project and moved a significant portion of it in two to three months. Because smart health cards were built on an open standard within an open community, it enabled everyone to share and collaborate and support each other, and smart health cards were able to be delivered much more quickly. I've been fortunate enough to work with more than 20, 30 states sharing ideas because the ultimate goal is to eliminate vaccine-preventable diseases from our country. What the Smart Health Card did is that it gave us the ability to provide immunization information access to everyone in the state. For us, it, it was a no-brainer. Without this pandemic, it would have taken us decades to get to a point where there was a universal standard that could be adopted and leveraged by providers out there. All of that happened within 12 months, and that is absolutely lightning speed for anything in public health. I can say without hesitation that we've already broken down some barriers to the access to the information by making it available in languages, by engaging in social media campaigns to raise awareness in those vulnerable communities. These innovations and data modernization have transformed the way we do our work. That's the future, and we can't go back.